Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the nervous and the hormonal coordination in the human uh, body. So, the nervous system is the system responsible for receiving the different stimuli from the surrounding environment, then reacting to these stimuli through sending nerve impulses to different organs of the body so that they can react to the different stimuli. Well, for the hormonal coordination here, there is a system called the endocrine system. This endocrine system consists of all the endocrine glands in the human body. The endocrine glands pour hormones, their secretions are called hormones, into the blood stream, directly to the blood stream, without using any ducts or canals. That's why they are called endocrine glands. These hormones control the metabolic processes of all the human body organs so that they can carry their uh, function properly. So both of the nervous system and the endocrine system coordinate together in order to let the um, body keep its internal and external um, coordination with the surrounding environment and this is called the homeostasis. So, uh, there is a difference between the nerve uh, impulses or between the nerveless action and the hormonal action. The nervous action is rapid, but it lasts for a very short time. But for the hormonal action, it reacts a little bit more slower than the nervous action, but its action lasts for a very long time. So this is the coordination between the nervous and the hormonal uh, systems. The next time we will begin talking about the nervous system. And um, by the way, the point of coordination or the link between the endocrine system and the nervous system is a part in the brain called the um, hypo Thalamus, and we will talk about this in details when we talk about the structure of the brain. So, until the next time, I thank you for watching and see. You.